how to become a remote appointment setter in 2024. I noticed there's a lot of videos actually, well, there's not a lot of videos on YouTube about how to become a remote setter. And given I own a company appointmentsetter.com, I've decided to create this training for you. There's not gonna be any pitches, so don't worry about that, where I really show you in the most simple terms possible without any fencing, fancy editing or any fancy words or anything fancy, really, I'm just gonna show you the meat of it how simple it really is, how you can get started, when you should do it, maybe when you should not do it, and really take you through that journey together with myself today. So with that being said, let's dive into it. So what we're gonna be covering first is how does remote appointment setting actually work, right? So that's gonna be one of the first um, topics we're gonna be covering. After that, I'm gonna be providing you with a complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can learn the skill of remote setting and how it exactly works. Then I'm going to be covering the three things you need to become a successful 10K per month remote appointment setter. And then lastly, a blueprint for you if you watch this video in full to find success online. All right. So before I dive into the first topic, um, let me give you some context first. So why are remote setters in demand and why is it the best opportunity in 2024 for beginners? Let me show you why. So I'm going to be kicking it off with an example. And the first example is that, you know, like any anything that comes new in the market, because maybe you've not really heard of remote setters, comes from a problem that businesses face, right? Which requires a solution. And remote appointment setters are essentially solutions. But let me sort of like add the problem that allowed this market to be created of remote setters. So online biz owners have a problem. And here you have Paul. Paul's actually one of my clients. Uh, and he's a business owner who makes over $10 million per year. Now, Paul sells a couple of products, but his main product is $10,000 and it's a online education service that he has for people that want to make passive income through ATMs. But then the question is like, how does Paul even sell a $10,000 service, right? Like, how does he even do it? Like, how does he get like from a conversation to a 10K payment into his, you know, business bank account? So he does it firstly through setting up appointments through his Instagram inbox, but the problem it's that Paul has no time to manage his inbox because he's needed in different areas of his business, like customer fulfillment, leading the team, doing innovative projects and other occupations. So that's the problem, right? Now, when it comes down to the next slide, here's the solution. This is where you would come in as a remote appointment setter and you would help Paul manage his inbox. And really all you have to do is set up sales appointments with people that are messaging Paul regarding his online education service. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly outside of this presentation very quickly what this looks like. So this is Paul's Instagram. And the way it basically works is, the way he sells his online education service is that now he does three things. He gets people to come onto his profile and become a follower and you know receive more value from him and get to see more of Paul, that's one. Number two, uh, Paul posts content, right? That's the biggest part that makes remote setting for you simple because a lot of people think they have to find their own clients, but because Paul is really good at marketing, he's got a great team behind him, he actually drives the leads to his inbox and people are messaging him, right? So if you go to a post where, let's take a quick example, right here, or let me just scroll. Yeah, you can see that uh, Paul has a call to action, which so a post with, you know, the value provided. And then this is a call to action. So he'll tell people to DM him the word NAD, which is related to the post. And quite often, too, what happens is that, you know, like people will leave comments. So the post gets more engagement. And uh, that is basically how Paul is driving customers to his IG inbox. Now, this is where you would come in and you would have conversations with people and you would book them in for a call, right? This is essentially the way it works. So you would manage these conversations, book people in for a sales appointments, you just collect your email and phone number, you give it to the next team member to take care of it. And then this team member is called a closer. I'm gonna show you some visuals in a bit too. And then they essentially take care of the rest. So of course the question may be, what's in it for you? How does it work like compensation wise for a remote setter? How many hours do I have to work, right? If I were to do remote appointment setting, so let's break it down. So here's what's in it for you. But first let me break down to you like kind of the process, like what it looks like on a bird's eye view. 
So as I mentioned, you have people that are DMing you on the Instagram DMs or Paul's account in this case, and you'd be in Paul's account. And then from there, you'd have the conversation with the person and then you basically book the appointment, right? Then after you book the appointment, the sales rep will basically take the call, right? Now, here's some data. So for every four sales calls, there will be a new customer. So if you set up four appointments as four sales calls, there will be a new customer. Now, Paul charges $10,000, right? So then the sales rep has to call it's 45 minutes long with the person you booked in. Then basically what will happen, let's say on the fourth call, uh, the person that you booked in will tell the sales rep like, hey, I'd love to do this. How can I get started? Right. They have the cash, they have the motivation. And then from there, uh, the new customer brings $10,000 in as cash for a company. OK, now here's what you get. The remote setter gets 5%. Now, some companies will give you seven and a half percent some will give you ten percent some will give you like you know four percent in a base pay uh you have a lot of different compensations but industry standard is like five percent and you get a 1k or 1.5k base so you already have a really stable foundation and then from there like you know as i said here five dollars on 10k uh, 10k equates to 500 bucks for you and then if you book 80 sales calls per month you would make 10k per month that is the math right so it's really that simple because you may have just went through it and be like wow is it really that simple and let me tell you yes it's really that simple it's sales you get paid for the value you provide and the results you bring not how hard you work not how many hours you put in results and that's why remote appointment setting is such a cool opportunity to get into in my opinion now as i kind of like just mentioned here business owners do not care about how hard you work or how complex your problem solving mechanism is right business owners care about results so whether you spend 16 hours booking four calls or one hour to book four calls it will uh, it will yield the same outcome and that's what business owners care about the most okay now how can you become a remote appointment setter and what do you need to start making your first sale within this industry so let me start breaking it down for you so here are the only things you need so number one you need a laptop or phone and wi-fi ideally both so if you have a laptop, you can work pretty efficient. If you have a phone, you can also work very efficient. So you, you could use one, but ideally you have both. Okay. Um, two, the skill of remote appointment setting and mastering the basics, right? Because look, you're not just going to be like some customer service and have like very copy paste conversations. You're talking to real people with real problems, just like you that want to basically get the outcome that the business owner provides. And that's what we're going to like help you master in this video. Okay. And then second, a third, a remote job placement where you can thrive in an already successful organization, right? Because you can have the skill, you can have your laptop, but if you've got no business owner to basically uh, to work for in their inbox, then you cannot really make any commissions, right? So that's the beautiful thing about becoming a remote setter. Like you already would become part of an already successful business and you would take a piece of the pie with that, right? That's why it's the fastest path to success. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not an MLM. It is a remote entry sales job where you can go from even in the future from setter to closer to manager to your own business. That's what I did, right? So um, here's the equation. So it's laptop plus skill plus remote placement is making money online. Now, remote setting can be done part or full time. So if you do part time, you like three to four hours a day. Full time is six to eight hours per day, right? Typically, people that work part time, you can make anywhere between three to five K plus per month, which, in my opinion, is super, super nice. If you work full time, so you work six to eight hours per day, you can make anywhere between, you know, like I'd say seven to 10 K per month as a remote setter. But the placement is the make or break factor here. So let's break it down. This skill, what is it like consist of on a high level? So the skill and basics you must understand in a conversation with a prospect, right? So what do you take them through, right? Like, what does it look like? What do you even say? So the very simple framework is number one, small talk, right? Just imagine you are sitting with someone that's interested in your service, right? Just a little bit of a different example here where you're not a remote setter because um, you're going to be, you know, pretending to be Paul. So you basically sit at a cafeteria. You'd have someone come in interested in your service. How do you kick it off? right? It's like this. So this is nothing like crazy or new or innovative. This is just having a conversation, but with intent and a clear outcome, right? 
or you lead it. So small talk like, hey man, how was your day? How's everything going for you? Uh, and then, you know, just from there, advance it into building report and then understanding their pain or problem, desire or goal, right? So understanding why they reached out in the first place. And then you would bridge your offer as the solution, right? And they're already problem aware if they're reaching out to you, right? So if Paul posts about ATMs and how they can help you make passive income, if people want to make passive income, then you can basically go ahead and bridge that like in a way where you say, hey, how would you find it to book a call with my team to see how we can help you set up an ATM so you can start making passive income and over time quit your job, right? So bridge your offer as a solution. So if people say here, let me take it to an example. So, hey, hey, how's everything going? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing good too. Awesome. Hey, what prompted you to reach out, right? So that's building rapport. So you're understanding like why they did it in the first place. Um, and then from there, they say like, yep, I am currently in a nine to five. I want to make more income so I can do more things. I can take more vacations. I can take care of my loved ones, right? So there you find a pain, right? They want to take care of their loved ones and currently they're not able to as they would like to um, or a desire or a goal, right? And then you'd say like, hey, man, so that's exactly what we actually help people do where we help you set up an ATM so you can make passive income. And then from there, you can make more, bring in more monthly and start doing that. So how'd you find it to book a call with an advisor uh, so we can actually see if it's a good fit, right? So that's where you bridge your offer as a solution, plus you propose a call simultaneously and then you book in the call. Then the sales conversation happens, prospect loves what they're hearing, they trust Paul, right? Because of his marketing and you make commission, right? That's the process. Now, this may seem very high level. Do not worry. I have got more good stuff in store for you. But let's go to the next slide here. Um, now, you may be wondering, as I just kind of said, what does this look like in practice for each basic that you must master, right? So guys, if you want to learn more about the skill, then you have to buy my $38,575,000 course. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Uh, next slide, just kidding. So if you go to the description, I have a free course with no strings attached. It has a full, full classroom. Let me actually show you real quickly. So if you click the link down below, you're going to be taken to a school community called the NAS community. You just have to like request to join. Then I'm going to go ahead and make sure your request gets accepted. And then if you go to the classroom right here, you'll have a full free course made by my partner, which breaks down exactly everything that you need to know, right? So from getting started to learning the skill to monetizing your skill set, getting better, your next steps, bonus content, and you know some of the results that we've been able to help people get, which I think is important before you go through any course that you see that we are learning from is actually getting results for themselves and then also students if they're helping any, right? So back to the presentation. And then I didn't mention it, but we also have a community integrated with like-minded people who all want to get more out of life and take care of their loved ones by becoming the best version of themselves. No cap, right? So it's not 30K to $39K. <laughs> cool. So next slide. Um, now, before we go uh, to the remote job placement part um, and understanding what makes a good placement versus a bad placement, uh, I'd like to share with you a little bit about who I am and why you should even watch this video in full uh, because I think some things may surprise you and I'll make sure to keep it brief. I just didn't like want to start off like this video with my story and all that stuff, right? Because everyone talks about our racks or just I just wanted to like lead with value first. And if you've enjoyed it thus far, I'm going to go ahead and just introduce myself a little bit if you don't mind. Okay, so um, myself real quickly, name is Bastian Slot, 25 years old. I live in Portugal, uh, but I'm originally from the Netherlands. And a little bit of a backstory on me. So I used to work two supermarket jobs. There was actually in the elevator getting like some, um, you know, stuff that I had to put in the shelves <laughs> and then go back down and, you know, fill it out. And so I, you know, used to work two supermarket jobs. And at the time I suffered from social anxiety, depression, plus I lived in an incredibly toxic environment. Um, so that's the first thing and where I fundamentally have come from. And another thing is that when I was young, I was 12 years old, I lost my mother, which has impacted my life significantly, firstly negative and I'm positive. And when I say positive, I mean, it's driven me to become a better man, a better person, take care of my loved ones and really get the most out of my life. Right. And at the time, too, I literally had only had 21 cents to my name at 20 years old. And I was basically doing a study to become a manager in the retail industry, which, you know, um, is definitely something I'm happy I didn't continue to pursue because I think retail is, you know, a nice industry, we need it, but definitely not something that I want to do, uh, you know, 
long term. So also a lot of League of Legends, Call of Duty. I was a gaming addict. Um, I also got into fitness and I wanted to pursue bodybuilding at the time. And I was a big fan of Aziz, who's a, you know, uh, fitness influencer that unfortunately passed away, but was a big inspiration for me, uh, for me. And then, as I mentioned, born and raised in the Netherlands from a small city called Den Helder. Now, fast forward to today. Um, I'm the CEO of two companies that turn over 6 million plus a year. Uh, we have about 35 people in our organization. Um, I've retired, you, you see no Lembos. I mean, I've got a Rolex, but that's the only fancy thing I've got. Bought it as a trophy back in Serbia when I was doing remote setting. Um, but you know, I take care of my loved ones. That's what I value. So I've retired my dad, my stepmother, my aunt. Uh, I've also got the most beautiful partner. You can see right here, her name is Anik. And uh, we've been together since 2019, actually. I made a mistake here, 2019 of October. And now we also have a toy poodle dog who's like our son. Um, so that's that. I uh, also have an eight figure net worth. I'm an investor in two companies, I own a 2.7 million villa down here in beautiful Portugal that I'm currently living in. And um, I've built up a great reputation. You know, even though I say so myself, if you Google my name and you type in Millionaire Consulting, you will go see who we've worked with. So as I said here, you can Google Millionaire Consulting or my name and you'll see we've worked with over 5,000 plus business owners, just like Paul that I mentioned at the beginning. And then later on, I went to start appointmentcenter.com to create a positive impact in the industry, which we have been able to do with over 2,500 students worldwide so far. And the business owners, you know, that I worked with wanted to hire good remote setters, but there wasn't any training for people out there really to become a highly capable and viable team member for business owners, right? So especially in 2021, there was just a lot more demand than there was supply. And this is why I claimed the domain name as I was the first to start in this space. Maybe you've seen like some appointments that are gurus already come by, but see if they already started in 2021, right? So we started in 2021 and were the first to really uh, put this opportunity out there for people and that's why we also were able to claim the domain name of appointmentsetter.com. Okay, so that's a little bit of a backstory. And just to top it off, we launched appointmentsetter.com back in December of 2021, and it has totally changed the game. As I kind of said, if you see appointments that are gurus for coaches, 95% of them have gotten trained by us or blatantly copy us. And so if you're ever considering, like if you kind of think about Apple and Alibaba, like we're kind of the Apple, they're the Alibaba, I don't say that with a negative tone. I'm not judging anyone. It's just the truth, right? So kind of as I'm going to be saying here too. So if you're ever considering who to listen to in this noisy online space, know that we're the source. And I have no bad taste in my mouth saying this because it's the truth and I will always lead with the truth. So um, now you can see with my first company, uh, moonconsulting.com, you can type it in. I've helped over 5,000 plus business owners and I've got over 100,000 plus following me online. And therefore, what we are able to do with appointmentscenter.com is that we can provide our students with a guaranteed job placement because as I said, there was more demand than supply. Um, but, you know, talking about job placement, I promise I'll keep it brief. So let's dive back into it and talk about remote job placements, okay? So good placement versus bad placement. Now, a remote job placement is the make or break factor for your own success. Because if you really think about it, you know, if a business is generating 20K per month and you're generating 5% commission on 20% and you're getting no base pay, you'd make a whopping minimum wage. So 500 bucks, which is kind of like what I just said here, it's less than minimum wage in most countries. And that's with very hard working days where you'd work six, eight hour days and you'd be lucky to make 500 bucks in 20K per month business. But also think about this, right? The next example that I have right here, if a business is generating 200K per month and you're getting 5% commission and you bring in half the revenue, you made five, you'd make 5K in your first 30 days, right? So in the next slide, I'm gonna be covering some industry baselines so you know what's a good placement, what to look for versus a bad placement where you should honestly run away from and uh, yeah, just block out of your life, to be honest. So. Good placement. A good remote job placement business opportunity baseline would be that the business is at least generating 100K per month in uh, cash. So not revenue, cash meaning like, you know, the customer actually paid the cash, um, you know, into the business bank account of the company and not it just being like a signed contract where it's 100K in revenue and there's like 20K in the business account, uh, you know, deposited. Because then it means you too would uh, have a direct impact of that. Okay. Two. The business has a good lead flow for their online services. 
And oh, what I mean by this is that like, just like Paul, where he's doing marketing and driving leads to his inbox, you wanna make sure that the company you're working for is also having a good marketing foundation so you don't have to do cold outbound, annoy people, and kind of like door-to-door -door sales where it's just very sleazy and you're gonna make a pretty bad commission overall through the month because the marketing is poor of the company. So that's a really important foundation, okay? And then with that, of course, the opportunity will provide you if they have a good lead flow with inbound leads, right? Uh, so what I mean by that is that, you know, if you make posts and uh, people DM you the word NAD, as you saw at the beginning of this video, that is an inbound lead, okay? So it's inbound. So it's coming into the inbox and then outbound is like you'd send a message to someone and that's essentially the way it works. And then the next thing is that the opportunity provides you with a base pay of at least 1K to, you know, 1.5K plus a percentage, but this is negotiable, right? And it also depends on like what your on-track earnings are which means how much you can actually make based on what the business owner's data says and what he says, right? Next thing, the opportunity has a professional interview process. Um, obviously this is common sense, right? Uh, but if the opportunity does not have a professional interview process, then that can be a red flag. But um, you know, again, this is common sense. So just make sure that you trust your intuition here, but at the same time, understand like you're in need of making sure you get a good remote job placement. So don't, you know, see this as like the biggest turn off that there is, okay? Next and lastly, the opportunity has a good team culture and internal team training process. So once you get on board for a trial, the most of these boxes, ideally all boxes are ticked. Um, then you're gonna go ahead into the team, into the workspace online, and you'll see, you know, what the people are like, how they're greeting you, what the energy is like, and you wanna make sure that, that is good, right? Because you wanna get inspired and motivated by other high performers with high standards. And if that's, you know, not the case, then it's going to be quite difficult to do that role for long term, right? And then also how you get onboarded. It's really important. Like you don't just want to be thrown in front of the wolves, aka you want to get thrown into the inbox with no direction and no guidance. Um, that should be 100% there, right? So the company is responsible for expectations, the training they provide you with, et cetera, et cetera. Now your earnings can range anywhere from five to 10K per month when an opportunity meets these baseline minimum criteria, okay? Now, next slide. This would be a bad business opportunity, okay? So a bad remote job placement, uh, business opportunity baseline would be below 20K per month cash collected, especially revenue, like you should just honestly run away as far as you can and just, you know, ignore them. Uh, no, all jokes aside, of course, keep it professional, but you should run away from this. Uh, business has little to no leads to work with, um, that's a big red flag because then you can't make any commissions because there's no opportunity, right? And typically, you know, this result is a result from this, right? Third one, not always, depends on the context and how well the business is doing, but if they're doing 20K per month and they've got almost no leads and they require you to work on your own profile, uh, honestly, just run away as well, right? You're just not gonna be able to really make your own commissions as, you know, a good setter would because most coaching companies are built from a personal brand. And then when John reaches out, when the personal brands are from Johnny Doe, uh, people are like, well, who's this dude, right? And on top of that, you'll typically land in the spam folder or the IG requests. And so it's very, very hard to make it work, right? So the response rate is down, which means your opportunity is down, which means you'll make less commissions. Fourth one, the opportunity only pays a base after 30, 90-ish days or no base at all. Okay. I had to just put it in here between brackets, run the fuck away, honestly. Um, you're gonna waste a lot of fucking time for nothing. And sorry for my uh, French here, but that is not what I would anyone want to see go through, okay? Now you can also ask us in the community that I told you to join for the free course. If you get a placement opportunity and you know, you're going to the interview, I watched the post in there, so post it and then I can share my two cents based on the full um, you know, picture. And then also the opportunity has non-confident interview process and just like bad sleazy vibes, right? Kind of an intuitive thing as well, right? When you get to know people in real life, like some you just connect with really well and you can laugh and you can have fun and you can, you know, uh, basically embark upon a journey together. And there are some people who are judgmental, negative. There's like a weird energy. And you know, if that's the case, that's a red flag. Okay. Um, now, I wanna add some context to the last one, which is you're one of their first team members, okay? So, because I said here, run for your life, ASAP. Now, you only wanna run for your life as soon as possible, if they take all these boxes, okay? 
So if you're one of the first team members, we're doing 100K per month, that's actually the best opportunity you can get because you can take all the earnings because there's no competition internally, right? But if it's all these boxes, like run the F away ASAP, okay? Now your earnings would be <laughs> essentially non-existent or at the most a few hundred bucks, okay? So make sure you prevent this from happening. Now, a quick reality check, okay? Because I think it's really important for everyone getting into this space. Take into account if you're completely new to the space and have no track record or any understanding of appointment setting, you cannot feel entitled to what I put down as a good remote job placement, okay? As an example, like if you're brand new, just take a free course, find yourself a remote job placement, say you're trained by Bastion, I've got a pretty good reputation in industry, and then you want to find a middle spot between a good and bad remote job placement, and of course, mainly leaning towards the good one, okay? So a good example for a complete beginner would be a 1K base pay, business does 40, 80K per month in cash collected, you know, low to good inbound, but a lot of outbound potential. So they've got good leads to work with, right? So story views on your Instagram, and then also a great career development trajectory and opportunity to expand your track record, right? Now your on-track earnings with this would be three to 5K per month with room for growth, which is insane because I'm taking into account you're like a waiter right now, or you're working a nine to five supermarket like I did, and you can make sure to 5k per month online with no experience or track record, right? Now, this is achievable for you in the next two to three months working from home instead of a nine to five job. If you want to quit your nine to five, if you want to work on the side, that's completely fine too. Uh, I just know most people want to quit their nine to five, or if you're even unemployed momentarily, you could just, you know, embark upon it full time. Okay. So just a quick reality check, please. Entitlement is going to kill your success. So do not have that. Now, your blueprint, as promised, to 5 to 10k per month. So far, we've broken down, so just to resummarize, we've broken down quite a few topics, which has been incredibly exciting and also fun. And now I want to conceptualize the blueprint that we've established here in the last 10, 50 minutes so far. Okay, so number one, you can literally take a free course, learn the basics and master the skill over time. You don't master something by just taking the course. It, you do it by constantly going through the course again and again, and then most importantly, taking the F in action and not just consuming the course, okay? But it's a combination of studying and doing the thing. And then the only last piece of the puzzle would be the remote job placement. So let me show you what I have for you, because this is a gift, okay? For making it all the way to minute 27. So my gift to you is this. I have a community with over 10,000 business owners. As you can see right here, if you go to the members, I am the owner of one of the biggest groups in the entire consulting industry. So you can see I'm the owner. So if you go over here, you can essentially see that there's people looking for setters. Okay, so this is one community I'd like to share with you. So make sure you go to Facebook, you type in the consulting community, request to join. And then if I'm not accepting you for whatever reason, just go to school, message me on school, put it in the community, okay? But you need to have gone through the course, I'm just gonna accept anyone in. And then from there, what you want to do, you also have a second community that I own too. It's called Appointments Center Community. And you can see we got five new posts today from people that are hiring appointment setters, right? So you can see here, this is a real industry, guys. Um, yeah, so my gift to you, make sure if you want to use it, that you use it. And then uh, let me know in school if I'm not accepting you, okay? So that's the gift. Uh, now, before we wrap this video up, I want to cover one more thing here, which is why is remote appointment setting better than any other business opportunity out there online? Let me show you why, okay? The reasons why is you don't need any startup capital. You don't need any previous experience. You only need to learn one skill and you can grow from a DM setter to a triager. So a DM setter can make, as I said, like 100K plus a year. A triager can make 120, 150K a year. And here you'd basically take 15 minute calls, right? That a DM setter would book, which is a pre-qualification call. So it's not a closing call. Closer, closer can make uh, a lot. A closer can make 20, 30K per month, right? That like top 5% makes 20, 30K per month. I'd say top 1% makes 50 to 100K per month, okay? Um, and of course you can become a manager where you take a percentage over the teams that you then manage then even a partner in a business. And eventually, once you've mastered everything, you can start your own business and you know have all the skill sets within you, right? Instead of like doing e-commerce where you have to learn seven skill sets at the same time, or you know, uh, Amazon FBA where it's kind of like the same thing, or you know, your own online business where you have to learn team building, operations, marketing, delivery, everything, right? Now, guys, there's no get rich quick scheme online. 
But if there's anything that comes close to it, it's 100% remote appointment setting, okay? Now, a couple more reasons why there's also opportunities, as I mentioned, like remote closing. But what I don't tell you is that you need charisma, a track record, incredible confidence, and much more in order to get hired. Because only one out of 50 people that go through a training program with remote closures will get hired by a good remote job placement opportunity, okay? Because of the requirements that it takes, right? With remote setting, it's not the case because it's lower barrier of entry role, but the incredible part to it is that you can grow into a closing role. And by the time you grow into it, you'll have achieved a good financial foundation for yourself by then, right? My own remote appointment setters for my companies had no track record and basic training, but they had hunger and that's why I hired them, right? I've never in my life hired a closure in my last five years of business with zero experience for one of my companies or my clients' companies, right? So having worked with 5,000 business owners and counting, this is my truth, right, that I live and see. Now, that being said, I'd like for you to quickly also meet my business partner, DJ, because he first had his own marketing agency, but it didn't work out. Why? Well, not only do you have to master one skill, which is remote setting, but also marketing, delivery, data tracking, running ads, and eight other things, as I said, that you need to master before even making a dollar with your own business. Then he saw me blow up my company called Miner Consulting. He became a DM appointment setter within our company. And then it took him two months to hit his first 10K per month. Okay. And then he started his own business to help his owners with early generation by hiring and training appointment setters for them. And then he did 15K per month with his own business. And then when 2021 came around, I asked DJ to become my business partner. And now we run appointmentsetter.com together and he makes 40, 50K per month as my partner. How is that possible? He started as a DM setter, went through consistent natural evolutions that I showed you, which is what I encourage every beginner to do. And then you start small and then you grow to something big, right? Now, I hope you got value out of this training. If you did, I would appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And then before you go, um, I do want to say we have a training program for if you're looking to shortcut everything, okay? Because look, you can do it yourself and it can take three, six, 12 months or never, right? Or you could give up along the way because, you know, it's not an easy journey. Like the path to success is simple, but it's not easy, okay? Or you can do it with me and DJ where we'll teach you the skill and help you get a remote job placement with one of the 5,000 plus vetted business owners that we work with in our other company. So if that interests you or just want to explore it, do like a little discovery call, then there's a Canally link in the description and you can book a free discovery call with one of my team members. And don't worry, it's not like a pressure call or any BS like that. If you like my energy or whatever, and you know, you've watched it all the way to the end, then I think it's going to make sense for you to book it because, you know, that's kind of what the call is going to be like with, you know, just this energy or it's, you know, just the best intention for you leading with value. Okay. Um, so then first we'll determine if remote setting is even the right thing for you. If it is, we'll book you in for another call with one of our coaches to make a game plan. And if you like what you hear, we'll be kicking ass together. So that being said, thanks for watching the training and I will see you in the next one.